people, Eastman Guitars. The Pepin wants to do some small talk, so give us a minute. Yeah. So, what did you do last night? Did you have a good time? I went to Lucille's Smokehouse Barbecue and had amazing food with um, Steve from Boston, Hunter Engel, Vlad from Catbig Studios, Harry Holden from Harry and the Guitar, and uh, Dave from uh, Cheddar Kung Pao. So lots of YouTubers um, talking about some awesome companies and some companies that we don't want to work with. <laughs> yeah, well, you have to choose. You have to make your choices. Yeah. Well, we're looking for companies that make you know good stuff, so we don't have to bitch that much, and that are nice people. Yeah. yeah. That's we, the, that, we, it's we, all about the people. Always. We, we've skyped, and so far, you're nice people, and apparently you make good stuff. So I think so far we try. We so try. Far it's working. Um, you're kind of tough to find because you're surrounded by the brass. This is going to be the last year. That's a, that's a, nobody knows yet, but this is going to be the last year that. Well, we now, now they do. <laughs> well, later. Yeah. yeah. In a couple of weeks they do. Yeah. No. Now uh, this is going to be the last NAM that we are with our the rest of our company because the Eastman Music Company is a very big company with the brass and woodwind and the strings. Next year it's going to be a guitar booth in the guitar halls. Much easier to find. Much cooler, more leather. Yeah, and, and less noise. Because you think a guitar is loud, wait till you hear the trumpets and the, and the tubas. They are loud as fuck. Yeah, okay, he said. It's loud everywhere here. I mean, Nam was supposed to be the, the you know, the relaxed show. That's yeah. out the window. Yeah, no, no longer. Yeah. You gotta rock hard, you gotta rock hard. Well, when you talk about Cheddar Kung Pao in the video, he shows up. Look at that. Hum, follow me. I just talked about my good friend Dave from Cheddar Kung Pao. Hello. Because Pepin asked us um, how much, uh, what I did last night. Oh. That's it, I did cheddar. Okay. And barbecue. So now we have a second YouTuber to look at phenomenal Eastman guitars. Yeah, this feels great. Yeah, but, but, but put that away. Put that away. Take that one and tell me what you think of it because that looks ridiculously phenomenal. I mean, it's obviously a jazz guitar. It's not just crazy, it's beautiful, it's crazy beautiful. Yeah. They're not F holes, they're oval holes. Yeah. It's really impressive. Look at this cutaway horn, how ultra freaking sexy it is. It's super smoothed over. I don't think I've ever felt one like that. And um, I like these inlays. Yeah, they're beautiful. And they're also side dots. Yeah. The side you got to push someone inside your frame. Okay. Oh, hey. Because hey, sometimes it's great to have the designer of this instrument present. You, oh, the ambrosio. You did this? I did. <laughs> You're a crazy motherfucker. <laughs> You're a genius. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This is so freaking beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. And you Thank know you. how long I've told companies to do um, inlays on the side between the A and E string that then go also as a side as dot. A side dot, yeah. exactly. It makes it. It's only once the work. Exactly. <laughs> this is technically cheaper to do. Yeah. And it had a child this year. The, <laughs> the baby. baby. Oh, it's adorable. It had a child. This is. This is. I want to review this yeah. on the channel. I. I'll play bad jazz on it. <laughs> really bad. I'll do a major seven sharp eleven. But I mean, I want to play this. Yeah. So now Cheddar Kung Pao has to woo us with his mandolin skills. Uh, let me see if I can find Andy Wood and swap him in my place. Oh, uh, how awesome would it be have Andy Wood play this yeah, thing? Where is he? He probably has a mandolin endorsement already, though. Probably. Yeah, but he's a very crazy motherfucker. Yeah, and he's crazy at Destiny too. I believe it. He's if he's half as good as he is at stringed instruments. This is ultra gorgeous. It has the same kind of. Um, rounded cutaway which is beautiful wooden pickup ring and a four pole piece mandolin pickup it's a, actually a Lawler hand wound pickup exclusively for this instrument I met Jason yesterday and he's um he is a bearded grizzly man <laughs> you, say name correctly, though. you have to say it Lala because in Germany in, in Germany when the Luthiers talk about what pickups they use they all talk about Lala with this Moses God-like, <laughs> when they say Lola, what they imply is our guitars are the best because they have Lola in them. And they say, well, I use Lola. That's, that's how they say that. Yeah. This is gorgeous. Um, the, the mahogany on, it's, it's crazy. It's actually a figured maple top on a mahogany-backed, solid, chambered 
back and sides. So it's actually one piece of wood that's carved out and then the top is glued on with the S holes. So you, it appears to be an acoustic instrument, but the block extends all the way down. So it eliminates any feedback. So you can play extremely loud and with as many effects as you want. And what it, what, it, what it can do, and that makes it unique. Uh, if you're a mandolin player, you've been in that bluegrass band playing your bluegrass stuff with the same sound uh, ever since. Now you can use pedals, you can get two bands, you can, be, you can play with, well, Give me your, give me the, the hardest motherfucking band in, in Germany. It's gonna be Rammstein. I mean, imagine Rammstein in a black version playing this guitar. It's gonna be fantastic. Okay, okay. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but <laughs> it's out there now. They, they, it's they, out they, they now. can dream. The, the one thing that this guitar makes me want to do is get a coffee. Yes, yes. Right? Because, I mean, how much more coffee can this be? Yeah. None, this none, none more coffee. It looks like a beautiful cappuccino. Yeah. Uh, let's go over there. I'd like to show you something here. This is something that I want to... I think you're gonna like this. We were talking about the grizzly bear. We were talking about, about Jason. Lola! So these are the SB-59 with, of course, the Jason Lola Imperial uh, humbuckers. But look at the aging on this black instrument. You hold this. Yes. You hold, hold my black instrument? Yes. I'll yeah, hold I'll... black instrument. You got a black one? I was hoping someone would go there. That's beautiful. So if you look carefully, you can see the the flame on the top through the the finish. This is one of the. Uh, Why did you cover this flame? It's like, hey, come here, Cheddar. I can tell you, because there, look, there's flame. Look, the flame. It, do you see the flame? Yeah. That's amazing. With a lot of imagination, it's why would they cover that? I'm gonna send this to me. I'm gonna sand the shit out of that. Come on! I can tell. I can tell you what you will find. What? There's probably somewhere there's like a brownish streak, which makes it unusable. The whole top is gorgeous, and then you got this one, and people don't like that. I like irregular tops. I love irregular. I Brown love streak. Yeah, yeah. Mineral streaks. Mineral streaks. Yeah. Uh, that's a, that's a, that's a quite interesting thing to discuss because you discuss mineral streaks. I play this. Yeah. Okay, we have to discuss mineral streaks. Well, you know, the original '59 and '58 bursts had mineral streaks sometimes. Absolutely. And those guitars are worth more than my house. Uh, what do you What do you think is the reason that uh, some some of the, the the consumers don't like that? They want the perfection, and the, the tree is never perfect. Yeah, I think people have come to expect an almost artificial level of uh, detail because of like maybe veneers and stuff. And when you have a real solid you know, piece of wood, sometimes it's got little imperfections. And that's, I think that's, ex that's exactly what I think we should, yeah. we should get that word out. Because yeah. like you said with the laminates, yeah. oh, it's gone, the guitar is gone. Russ, <laughs> yeah. yes, that's guitar. We were talking about that guitar. Yeah. The T484, yeah. this Flawless. is, yeah, and that's a, that's a laminate like a, like a, a 14 inch arch top incredible guitar yeah but you these are always going to be flawless yeah. he's wait. he pitches a high c yeah no problem it's going to be good to have some speechless moments yeah right we can tune the mandolins by his squeal yeah that's nice here it's yours thank you i'll buy you that um so, but you were talking about possibly sending me one of these yes. things yeah. in a and in in, in a uh, violin something. Yes, it's coming your way. We have, but, uh, but, we but, have I, but I don't see it here. No, because that's the biggest problem you have on a booth like this. You have to make choices in colors. The classic was the first one we uh, we introduced. Uh, so we have the the black and the anti gold burst, which are the latest editions. And but so we have amber. We have all kinds of colors. But the classic is coming your way. That's. The, this color, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like the, yeah, there's actually, well, that the color that, that's the classic color. And it yeah. makes, it makes, it makes a, a flame pop beautifully. But it's gonna be a little bit beat up, right? It's gonna have that look with the lollers. Harm, actually, Harm, our cameraman here, he picked one for you. I like you. I'm really curious to see how that holds up and put it on an amp and create actual music with it. That's always what it's about. Yeah. It has to be about music. Look at Dave, he just can't put him down. Look at Dave, he just, he's like, he's playing, playing, playing. 
he just can't put it down. You make, I mean, you don't impress with, you know, tons of colors and all that. You go classic, but really beautiful. I mean, just, they, they, they feel stunning. They look stunning. Yeah, the thing is that it's that it's the, the coloring is one of the most dif difficult things to do, especially when it comes to, for instance, our antique varnish, uh, because we now we found that we can spray a nitrocellulose color on the top, then do the antiquing, and then we rub with the violin finish the last part of it. So, for instance, the red one. This is also a new addition. This is a new color in the antique varnish series, antique red. Oh. So it's our T59 model. Beautifully done. Seymour Dinkin Antiquities here in this one. And we had a new, we have a new headstock designed for it. So it's a little smaller and the, 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 the balance is much better now. He wants to see the back, you see? Arm, you, Arm is really actually a very good cameraman. Yeah, he's, he's going for it. And there's something between you that you share. I was, I was, you, ha, ha, I was one second later. I would have said, and we share the haircut. Yes. See, Same we think doesn't. alike. Yeah, there you go. Whoa, he's well. And what you need to know: these amazing, stunningly handmade instruments. They clock in at what two grand, maybe a little bit higher, maybe a little bit lower, something like that. Yeah. It, it, well, I have to say, we the I think electric uh, with the, with our arch tops, we already start at twelve hundred and fifty euros for a handmade arch top, and then it goes up. And it, depending on uh, what you want, what you're looking for, is it fully solid? Uh, the SB 59s they start at uh, well, for instance, the brand new gold top SB 59 with classic 59s starts at seventeen ninety nine. Nitro yeah. finish, all solid, never chambered, full solid and never heavier than uh, 3.9 kilograms. Nice. No, um, definitely a, you know, something that the competition needs to look out for. Yeah, we, we always try to do our best, that's all we can do. Well, I'm gonna grab Cheddar and do stuff with him. Uh, thanks, Thank Pippin. Thank you, great stuff. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Dave. Wait, wait, Dave, Dave needs to sign off. Animals at the end.